Hey guys, it's Wednesdays with Chase, and you know what that means. Every day I see my dream. Every day I see my Right, so first things first. Why is my dancing so horrible? Deal with it. It's late. I'm tired, and all I want to do is sleep because all I've been doing is studying. Two. Why my hair be pink? Or purple, or however you see it on your screen. Or red. It's supposed to be purple. But it turned out to be like pink. And it be different color everywhere. So we just gonna deal with it. Uh, we decided it was bored. Me and my friends were like, yeah, hey, we're going to dye your hair. So it's like, okay, so this week's topic is trans resources. First, I will do Montreal because that's where I live. This is supposed to be community. Community. So, Montreal resources. If you are trans and don't know what to do, go find a therapist. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. No, but we have, I will put all these links down there in the crotch area so you will have amazing time. If you live in Montreal and you want to, let's say, obtain tea without getting a therapist, you go to Head and Hands and you get yourself on the list. There is a very large problem with this. It will take you about eight months to get your tea because there is a huge ass line and they only take like two people per month. So you'll get it. Let's say you go now, you'll get it in like, I don't know, November or something. But it's free, right? And you don't need a doctor. And it's like legit, you get like a doctor like to examine you first, don't worry about that. It's not like, I'm gonna get you some tea. It's not no sketchy shit like that. Um, but, if you do want therapy, I think that this program is still running in Montreal, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure because I'm not part of it, but there used to be this program where you go in, you have to have an interview to go into the program, then when you're in the program you do a gr group, group therapy every two weeks and then actual therapy every two weeks also, which is expensive, but then they they tell you when you're ready to be on T, and they tell you when they think you're ready to have surgery and bottom surgery, stuff like that. The good thing about this is because I, we live in Quebec, you get your surgery paid for. But, again, it needs to be done by the surgeon in Montreal, and if you want, like, Garamoni, or you want, like, McLean, or anyone like that, you can't get it free, unless you do it with, I believe the doctor's name here is Brassard. I think that I think that's what his name is. He'll do your surgery, your top. He'll do your bottom. A lot of people from like Calgary and stuff like that, they um when they they get it covered through their insurance, but they do bottom surgery here. Like I'm talking about bottom surgery. People in like Calgary and like Manitoba and like other places in Canada, they, when they get their surgery, their bottom surgery paid for by the government, they come here to do it. I know two people who have already been in the process of doing that to come here and get their bottom surge did, but. If you want top surgery by the doctor here, and you're in Quebec, and you want to go through the program, which I think is still in place, but I'm not sure, then there you go. Also, there is another way to get your surgery paid for in Quebec. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know a lot of guys on YouTube, you could Google it, Google it, you could YouTube it, that have um, got their surgery paid for in Quebec, and I don't necessarily think they did go through the program. But yeah, you get the government to pay for your surgery, which is epic. If you'd like to change your name in Quebec, not in Canada, because we are obviously, I have different laws in Quebec because we're like separatist up in here. Not me, I'm just saying. But if you'd like to change your name, I believe the rule used to be you have to use it for five years and have to prove that you've been using it for five years, but whatever. I still think it is that way. If you were born in Quebec, born. Not if you live in Quebec or born in Ontario, that's different. If you're born in Quebec and you want to change your name, I still believe that that's in place. And it costs around $300 per name or something like that to do it. I'm sorry that I'm not 100% on all these details. Obviously, I've had nothing done, right? But if you want to get your... I know this for a fact. I have my papers here, right here in Quebec. Right here. If you'd like to do your name. If you want to get your gender marker changed from like M to F or F to M, whatever. In whatever, like, whatever. If you watch here and you're like female to male, I mean, ha, huh, duh, if you're male to female, um, you need to have, like, bottom surgery, like, surgery on your genital organs or some shit like that, so, like, bottom surgery. I'm not sure if hysterectomy counts, probably doesn't in Quebec, because we're, like, cray-cray up in here, but bottom surgery, which sucks. But, like, do I want that? No. Okay, so that's all the information I got, but if you want a lot more resources, like I said, you go to Head and Hands, link. Or you go to the 2110 Center, which is where I get all my info, which is got all my info. And so that's where I got this, the processing for name change and stuff like that. 
They are really good for information. Also, if you have tea and you don't have any needles because you don't want to get them at the pharmacy because they cost and they're not covered by your insurance, no problem. They give you some needles. They big ass, be some big ass needles, but I have some just to take the tea out. And um, they are really good. They give you condoms and they have like a really cool library with all these like trans books and like gay books and stuff like that. It's a very good center. Link down there also for you. I think those are the two organizations that I know about tranny things in Montreal. Now for general resources. Why? Because most of you do not live in Montreal and you do not even need all that information. So, resources. Ow. Hmm. Resources for the world. YouTube. <laughs> that is the one thing. No, don't rely on YouTube for all your information. Are you kidding me? People get like brainwashed from this shit. Like, oh my god, they're so trans. I need to be that trans. Don't do it. Don't rely everything on YouTube. Go on those websites. Talk to different people. I did do this therapy, online therapy. It was like brand new day of therapy. Brand new day of therapy. Brand new day therapy or something like that with like Melissa. I remember her name was like that. Um, you get a letter from her saying that you're ready for tea. Um, I'm pretty sure it works in a lot of states, but in Canada and stuff, but it did not work in Quebec. So don't do it if you live in Quebec, because it won't work. Like I said, don't rely everything on YouTube. You can watch YouTube, you can do whatever, but don't be like, oh my god. So my first step is, I have to start tea, then I have to get surgery. No. Do it on your own time. Do it on- why can't I talk tonight? <laughs> hmm. Do it on your own time. Think, do I really want to be tea? Be tea. Okay, fuck this shit, something's wrong with me. <laughs> Do I really want to be on tea? Do I? Hmm, maybe. Will it benefit me? Will I feel cooler? Cooler. Okay, seriously, like that's like 17th strike in a row. Do I feel better because I'm on tea? Do I want surgery? Will I be happy forever with the surgery? With a surgery? <laughs> 18, number 18. But yes. For example, I I did think like that on YouTube. Oh, it's nice. and I feel like a lot of people do think like that. I'm not saying everybody does. No way. It's like, pfft. of course you can watch YouTube and be like, oh, that's how I want to be. That's completely understandable. But if a lot of people do that and they're like they don't really think about it, um, not saying that happened to me. Not saying it didn't. Not saying it did. But whatever. But yes, and another resource online that is very good is Trans Bucket. If you want to like have surgery and if you think surgery is right for you and you want to see like prices and like what surgery looks like and what who's surgeons and they also have therapists on there there's not that many therapists for Canada if you live up in her but for the United Americas um, there is um, there's a lot of resources for that so those were my resources for you and if I think of any other resources I will put them down there and I hope this was resourceful for you and that you had an amazing time listening to me being resourceful with all of my resources that didn't really make sense and didn't really know if I was right or wrong. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Give me, give me.